Welcome beautiful people around the world. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Yuki and I hope you're loving yourself as much as I love you all. I really hope so because today, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna do a reaction video today and this is gonna be interesting because pretty big topic that I think a lot of people, uh, especially women, need to uh, understand when going into uh, this type of work, getting a good perspective, kind of like the industry, right? And to seeing how these people are making, you know, a lot of money off OnlyFans. Now, don't get me wrong, you can make a lot of money off this stuff, right? The thing is, is that is it the most viable thing for you uh, ethically? You know, that's the that's that's the one thing. Now, I don't shame anyone for doing it. You can do whatever you want with, uh, you know, wh what you want to do with your body or if you want to monetize or whatever like that. If you guys want to make sure to follow this stream, uh, make sure to click uh, follow me at kick.com slash where you can uh, let me know if you guys um, and uh, let me know if you guys like these videos. Uh, I will make more, obviously, but starting off strong. Does dick size matter? Three, two, one. Okay, does that does that matter? Okay. So it doesn't matter. So they're saying so Wait, one person on agrees. On? Oh, am I I'm on the strongly agree. Oh, am I supposed to be on a line? This is okay. strongly agree. No, no that's disagree. strongly disagree. Oopsie. I don't <laughs> I mean, it does matter because if a guy has a 13 inch dick, then we're kind of like, right? Like that's like a little too big. That's kind of neutral then. No, over I'm here on no, it's like, well. Well, yeah, because it matters. If you have a big dick, you're gonna look cooler when you're fucking it. That doesn't matter as much as technique. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. I like six true. inches. Yeah, but I'm saying like. Hey, size there you go. As in like. See, she likes six. <laughs> Uh, I'm not, no, nah, I'm not saying any preference for me, but I'm just saying if anyone has got six, There's certain I mean, hey, where look at that. Like, I can't There's that. hope. Like, yeah. some guys' dicks are so big, you're like a That's holiday true. penis. Like, you're good for Christmas and New Year's and my birthday, but I can't do you every day. I would need a wheelchair. Christmas? So in birthday? That case, yeah, it does matter, because I'll die. So I need a Can smaller dick. Shit. Because if his dick is super big, I'll have to cheat on him all the time with a two incher. Okay. I'm, I'm neutral on this. What about two you? inch? If it's too small. Exactly. That's why size matters. It's either too small or too big. I feel like the nice wiggle room is like five to eight inches, and then once it's above, if it's above that, my cervix is bruised, and if it's below that, I don't feel your teeny weeny. But then when fans ask you, does size matter, and people say no, Jesus. I would say yes, as long as you're not like a four incher or. Four inches is fine. Four is okay. Four inches yeah, is yeah. Okay. Four inches. <laughs> four inches is great. Four inches. They said four, four inches. Four five is the average uh, size in America. It's just great. So no, okay. Four to five? Is that what she said? Yeah. A, but I don't think there's such a thing as too small of a because we've all had sex with each other and we're all like pussy owners it. and we've all made each other bust. I hope. Yeah. So yeah. And it didn't matter what our <laughs> sizes were. You know, if it's a micro, it's just like scissoring. I got a tiny. Yeah. It's the same thing. <laughs> I like scissoring. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Put enough spit there. <laughs> In my case, I just think some <laughs> are just too big. Yes, agree. I agree with that. I disagree, <laughs> but I like to swallow swords. So, <laughs> what can I say I swords? <laughs> I think it's very much up to personal. Holy crud! Too. Yeah. Right. Like if I, you know, if a guy pulls down his pants. If he, if he has like a two incher, a thirteen incher, I'm like, we can work with this, bro. We can find something that'll both help us feel pleasure and relief. Yeah. yeah. There you I go. I love all awesome. sizes. For a one-time thing, I don't think size matters at all. But if you're looking longevity-wise, then yeah, you don't want thirteen inches. I could, but like. <laughs> <laughs> I say no because I'm thinking my personal life. I don't want to take a big, but I'm also agreeing with Kazumi with. Too big is like, yeah, size does matter, so maybe I'm neutral. Oh, yeah! Yeah, I'm neutral. Porn wise, big <laughs> is what they like, and that just looks better on camera, but personal. She's life, a, too wait, she's a small me. advocate. I'm gonna make you get anyway. So okay. It I think it's about girthiness. Interesting. Really, if we're oh, talking I can't take girth. Really? I like girth. Oh, I can't take I personally prefer a chode over like yes. a really long, long skinny and skinny. Day. What? I, like like, it's a pencil. Yeah. I would like, like a little, like, thick. That's three inches, way more mm -hmm. than like a ten inch. That's like, like super thin. I feel like that would just scare I me. I can't feel that. Or like a little that's curve. Awesome. Curves what? scare me. Curves. Scare me. <laughs> it like hits like the. It it like yeah. Yeah. Like a hook. No. Even su even sucking it is like not fun because you're like oh it feels yeah. like a hook. But I feel like for me, there's so many other sexual actions that can happen to where it doesn't even matter to the point where it doesn't matter to me because we can do 
oral or foreplay, and honestly, foreplay and making out will get me off way quicker than even getting fucked. Yeah. Um, and I love fingering and fisting. So I Ooh, feel like fisting. that's why, like, overall, it doesn't really matter because there's so many other, like... It, what? Oh. Oh, my Lord have mercy. What the heck? Is going on. Yeah. I will say hey, the kinky. better I've gotten at sex, <laughs> the, the less a size matters. Cause if I like learning how to ride small <laughs> is such a good skill set that feels really good because it basically feels like scissoring. And when I didn't really know how to <laughs> I preferred big <laughs> because I felt like they did more work. It's but easier. now that I know how to be more active during sex, especially with riding. I've been preferring small <laughs> and like knowing how to interact with different sizes. One of my biggest problems is I used to f a lot of frat boys. So they That's didn't do problem. foreplay. Uh, <laughs> yep, yep. So like foreplay wasn't a thing. So for like only the little <laughs> guys do foreplay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it matters. I can get off. I mean, off you kind of have to, honestly, so. at that point. I'll stay here. Well, I think size does not matter. I can come on all <laughs> just. You know. All of them? <laughs> what, what's too small or too big for you? Wow. <laughs> 13 inches, a little bit too big, but I would like to try. I still like <laughs> I mean, honestly, Joe, that ch having 13 inches, that is, that, that, that's, I mean, that, that's bigger than the foot long. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you get a sandwich, it's, it's an inch bigger. Like, holy crap, that is huge. That's huge. That's crazy. It's like that There's no too small for me. <laughs> I think when you do porn and then the d is smaller, we all kind of are like, yes! <laughs> is oh my god. god. It's like, it's gonna be a good is it? Day really? Yeah. I'm the Interesting. opposite. I'm like, make me look cool and maybe look good like give me the toughest shit and let's go yeah <laughs> yeah that's dedication i want your arm you know i like yeah. this line the amount of money a guy makes matters to me yes <laughs> this is yeah oh so I, in recent years i've come to realize that like a lot of men are intimidated well, that, that kind of makes sense i mean I, I would think that question pretty much stands out like majority i would i would assume majority of women do care at least on your status your network um you know like your career right if you're able to make a lot more money in the future right though it's not like the first thing that you know people are going to be looking at be like oh this is what you know obviously when i'm well, this is only what i'm looking for obviously there's a lot more aspects to it but again having a component into it is definitely having your financials together so I, in recent years, I've come to realize that like a lot of men are intimidated about my income. If I were to take a guy on vacation the whole time, he's like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I wish I could afford this for you. I wish I could do these things. And in my mind, because usually like guys are providers, like that's him why thinking because he's the man that he should make a higher income. And we always have like a weird power play with that. I just mm. think that I would have better relationships if they had their own money at the same equivalent. I don't think it matters because yeah. for me, like when I date someone, either it's because I really just like being around you or I like having sex with you. And hopefully if we're dating, I like both of those things. All my boyfriends I've ever had, I've always paid for everything. So it's also just kind of been a normal part of my dating experience, but I've never really minded it because I've always chosen partners who've contributed in my life differently because the partners I've had have been able to spoil me in different ways like their emotional intelligence and their time and I find like those things to be priceless compared to when I talk to richer guys and I just feel like they're douches and I feel like they have like a weird power trip because they do equivalent their value to money. I have hmm. always liked guys who are passionate about what they do so it's not like money is a big factor. It's like I don't want someone who's doing something because they think that they can make a lot of money. I don't like that but I've also dated guys after starting OnlyFans that like want me to pay for everything and then kind of want me to be a sugar mama. So like I want them to at least make enough to where they don't rely on me to pay for everything. I just want them to do something that they're passionate about. I think people who work only for money are just like a lot more miserable in life. I, I, now, I think I think I think I think honestly, I mean, like it, it does make sense that like, you know, you you go into an industry or, you know, you I, I don't know, you monetizing essentially what they have been doing so far they're monetizing themselves to be able to you know have a little bit more extra income right like they're making a lot of money off monetizing themselves right so again how i see it as is like yeah they're making a lot of money but now they're trying to find someone at least at their level or if not higher than a level and so when they're trying when they're finding people that are a little bit lower 
you know, obviously they want them to, you know, to be at that same level, but also pay for a lot more stuff too. Right. Cause again, you know, um, I would, I would think, um, because I'm the, I'm the, I'm a, I'm a guy that would personally would pay for the first date or, you know, would pay for a lot of the stuff during relationships. So, uh, and I've always been known to do that. But the thing is, is that like, you know, a lot, you know, again, the, the natural income for guys is pretty low. So, um, more likely if you find a pr pretty average person, um, they may pay for, they may pay for a lot of stuff, but again, it's like to the, to the aspect of what's, uh, especially, um, women that are making a lot more money off OnlyFans or anything like that, you know, obviously the, the gap is huge. So, you know, they're not gonna be able to pay for everything. So, uh, it, it's, it's just, I guess it's harder for them for sure to, to, to find the right person. I agree with that. Completely. That has the right I think income the thing for them. Most attractive to me is somebody who's driven and success is attractive as well. Even if they're not making, you know, top dollar, if they're successful in whatever they're passionate about, I think that equates to a reasonable income. I that's not one of my things that I look for is financial, only because my mom always taught me from when I was a young age to always get my own money and to do it on my own to so never depend on a man. So when I started dating and going for men who were, I guess like at a higher higher rate than I was yep. as far as like income. They were just like really too flashy and they didn't have a lot of interest that I have. So when I was starting to go for more normal guys or guys who either made the same amount of money or less, they were way nicer and we had more in common. So I don't know, I just never really went for guys with a lot of money. I tried the sugar daddy thing, it sucked um, because I'm not really good at faking what I'm doing, so. I feel like broke guys f better. They do. They f and like guys with no car. They f like you, they need a home. No, they <laughs> like no home. <laughs> better especially when they're fucking you in their suits trust me yeah that's well you can so like have a suit that's why money. Like, yeah just, and that's like yeah. another reason yeah. why it's not because i want to be sugar i don't want them to sugar daddy me it's i want a businessman that runs their own business that's a ceo the same way i am i don't know maybe i should go over there to your line because <laughs> i agree i agree with i agree with you like yeah. i like the power play i love fucking <laughs> older people i'm not gonna date a bomb but i do like regular girls and guys but and then when i travel <sighs> normal i would say normal people but people who work at mcdonald's or something they can't pay to go on a trip and i don't want to have to be the that's one what to i'm like saying constantly yeah. pay for us to go on trips that's not fair to and me i feel like my love language <laughs> it's no fair to me see that's a that, that's the thing <laughs> that's what i <laughs> yeah it's it, i mean i mean again the women i guess well i mean it's a weird way of putting it but um you know i i would i would think that you know more likely guys were going to be are the, are the ones that are going to be paying for a lot of the trips, you know, a lot of the dinner dates or like that. But yeah, there are women out there that do pay for all that stuff, which is awesome, right? You know, and, and more power to them, but more likely, you know, you kind of would love that reciprocal aspect. If the woman's paying for most of it, you know, then, you know, she would kind of expect the same thing back, right? As for a guy, probably not, you know, you would, if the, if the guy can pay for everything, you know, the woman, woman would be okay with it, right? So. Uh, it's, it's it's kind of a fine underline, I guess I would say. That's how I would see it, but you know I could be wrong, honestly. Um, that, that, that's just kind of how I'm seeing it, uh, especially how this video is playing out. Is gift giving, so I've always had like a big sugar mama kink. Like I've always, like, <laughs> like, I just like to take care of someone, especially like I just feel like a lot of men aren't taken care of, and they'll get compliments, and I just like to make them feel really good with like buying them roses and spoiling them in ways. And then, and also I don't know. Every time I talk to like a, a rich guy, he always sucks ass. Like it's he's LA. Yeah. It's LA. You yeah. gotta talk to rich guys outside of LA. <laughs> International. There you go. <laughs> For me, I would like. Um, the guy that take me on trip, take me out to a nice restaurant, yep. wear a nice suit, dress nice, to go to nice places. It's not like he have to make a, like top dollars. It's at least he's have the money to provide. Um, yeah, I think it makes more sense to date someone like on the same playing field as yourself. I mean, dating someone with a little less money is fine too if they're like grinding and like on their come up, like I'll rock with you too. Um, so I have actually dated plenty of men who are unemployed and I 
didn't really enjoy it. <laughs> so I really don't mind being the one who pays for it if my partner can't afford it. But I also really do enjoy being uh, given gifts, right? Even if he isn't making a lot of money, being like spoiled. getting me a little yep. chocolate from like 7-Eleven. But I do appreciate somebody who is making enough money to show me love in a gift giving way, even if it's really tiny. Sex work is easy money. Wait, this is this is great. <laughs> it's not easy money? <laughs> that would be funny if we were all in oh a group. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, Violet, Holly, you guys are a neutral. Why is that? I say yes because when you're attractive, I can just post a titty picture and then I make money off that. So I say it's easy in that way. But no, because yeah. of what we go through mentally and physically when we do these scenes where we have to train for anal, do gang bangs, and it's not really as easy as people make it seem. Easy for some things, but it's really hard for other things. Oh, but I'll see, this is one of the things that I, I always understand. I try and understand too. Cause I, I mean, obviously I don't do it, but you know, try on the, on the outside, uh, looking in, you know, I, I would I would think that, you know, you're going into a profession or a career or a job essentially that, yeah, you can get a little bit more, a little bit easier money, right? Because the job is paying you pretty well for what you're doing. But I would think that you're going into it knowing, knowing oh, at least 95% or 90% of the stuff that you're going to be doing in those, in those scenes that you're going to actually, you know, that you're actually wanting to do it, right? Now, I would assume the other stuff you would you kind of would get away with it like if you don't like certain positions or certain you know uh, things i would assume that you would cut it off like no i'm not going to do it but maybe the the, the better you know the, the top you know actresses out there that are doing those scenes you know obviously are willing to you know work with it right so maybe you might suffer a little bit more because you got to deal with you know someone that's a little oversized on that on that aspect and you're kind of hurt after that. So again, I understand that aspect, but I would think that, you know, you're probably going to be making a lot more money, uh, you know, cause you're in a business that, you know, again, that can, you can monetize yourself, uh, at the fullest point, especially with extra content off the side. So, you know, it's interesting. You know, we're such a small representation of people who do porn when there's hundreds of thousands of people who aren't as successful or don't look the, the same way as us and they still absorb that same amount of risk of like social stigma and the way people treat us and the way people talk to us and date us and the way it's we try to buy perception. houses. And, but on top of that, I feel like becoming a successful sex worker or a successful entertainer, you can't be stupid. You know, you have to have like some type of wit and some type of creativity about you because unlike most forms of entertainment, there is no handbook for becoming a successful porn star or OnlyFans girl. On top of the fact that, yeah, triple anal is hard, but also like, <laughs> you know, like yeah, all the hate can be hard. Even with thick skin, it can be That's extremely true. difficult. And you know, like my parents don't even know what I do because it would be such a bad time yeah. for me. So I feel like in that aspect, I it is that. hard. So being a sex worker isn't just going out there and f***ing, it's actually being your own CEO. So like, I have a company, I have 40 employees, I manage it. Every and she got 40 day. employees I have that depend on me and my body literally working my ass off for this brand and on top of that my 10 years in porn i have pinched two nerves in my back and slipped a disc just from pile driver and Jesus. i have some health problems now from all the times that i've cleaned out Jesus. i've had stitches in my vajay um from scenes so i don't think people really take that into account like especially when you perform on a certain level you're a sexual athlete like, if you do a dp i don't know if you guys have done it it feels like you've been in a 20 mile car wreck the next day oh no. right like, yeah, like <laughs> i just got hit this month. got in a car accident at 20 miles per hour this month i'm gonna speak on did she say this month black girls in the industry pretty or not they have it really tough yeah, there's racism in every industry, but for black women, just taking off their clothes in a sex industry, it's not the same playing field. Mm. It's completely different. Why is it completely different? Like, what kind of struggles do you guys go through? There's hair situations, there's makeup situations, there's maybe the white guy's not really attracted to the black girl and he mentions it on set and then he's like, fuck, I still have to f you. Why the f did you tell me that? Damn. I don't need to hear that. Like, let's just do it and make our money and go home. But you have that, directors being racist, girls, black girls not being hired as much as white girls. Yeah, so the money's very different between a white performer and a black performer. There was just something the other day, a girl couldn't wear her afro on set, like her natural hair on what? set. 
they were like, no, we have to do something to your hair. That's messed up. Yeah. That's so messed up. So I was like, can wow. you wear your natural hair to set? And it's also emotionally draining having to respond to like subscribers sometimes because it's like, I haven't had sex with a man in over a year and it's like, subs are always like, well, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Like, what I'm doing is not enough for them. And that also takes an emotional toll. They want so much. But yeah. before OnlyFans, it was just like, you could only see us in movies online. Mm -hmm. Now that they have OnlyFans, they're like, you're mine. Yeah. No, yeah. we I need like time. I think one of the craziest things is we could talk about all the issues we face, and a lot of the comments are going to prove us exactly right because they'll still be like, "You chose this." Yeah, yeah, chose yeah. This. yeah. yeah. <laughs> like that's, yeah. So that's what I've been thinking this entire There's, time. Oh, it's like I could say like, "Oh, this is so sad," and they'll be like, "Well, you decided to be a whore." Yeah, and, but you what know? is what is my what does my job have to do with the treatment of you? Just because I decided that this is what I wanted to do doesn't mean I've decided to allow you to treat me with that type of um, mannerisms because I decided to expose my body online. I think sex works is, is easy, like in a sense where... Yeah, I mean, again, uh, that, that I mean, this is the reason why I, I, I wanted to react to this video, especially because, of, again, it's like uh, people don't understand what the, the reality of what, is act, what it actually is, right? These are people that probably have done it maybe years, probably decades. I don't even know. Like, I don't really watch much of it, so I honestly can't really tell you i've never seen any of these people in general so um but still it's like you know it, it's it's unfortunate you know again the perception is reality the perception of you know that work is literally uh you know it's you're being called you know several names out there and you're probably called that on constantly so you know again you just you just got to be careful where you're going to be you know making that quick money or since or you know or that money that you think that is going to be quick it's going to hurt your status because again, perception is reality that again, the public is viewing this as, as a negative thing, you know, again, and it's like, you know, it's just one of those things that, you know, you have to, you know, understand what you're getting into if you are going to do it. So it's, it's, it's unfortunate that, you know, obviously they, they have to go I through just it, but like pull my tits out and like, you know, again, the same as like just sucks. a minimum wage job working 40 hours a week, but, but it is what it is. I the mean, mental toll and the physical toll keep going just, like, until yourself on display every day. So it's amazing. changed, I guess. If you are a very conventionally attractive white woman. It is easy to start in the beginning, but you need to be smart enough to continue that momentum. I, as a tall, you know, chubbier, bigger woman have faced plenty of discriminations towards opportunities working with people because of my size. And it is hard. There are plenty of women who have bigger bodies and my body does not determine my success, but it, there's that, that's definitely another peg that is difficult to climb. And people are mean. <laughs> Straight up, people, people can true. be very mean. You know, echoing what Adriana said, there are plenty of people that are gonna comment on this YouTube video and be like, you chose this work, you knew what you were signing up for, you don't know me, you don't know my situation, you don't know, you know, what health issues I may have. Maybe this is all I can do. For people to comment like, oh, you know, slut, whore, whale, fat, like a bunch of other things. It's hard. I said neutral just because I took it from like a personal standpoint and I find sex work easy for me. I'm a horny gal. So, <laughs> you know, when I was working like a nine to five, there I used go. to work in a nightclub industry. And one, not only did I have to fit my sex life around the crazy hours I was working too, I got sexually harassed way more in that industry than I ever have on a porn set. Obviously speaking, you know, I have the privileges of being white, conventionally attractive, all of that. I really enjoy doing it. I haven't had a bad experience yet. That might change. And obviously everyone's experience is different, but for me personally, it's the easiest and best job I've ever had. I'm open to hooking up with my fans. That's yes. Oh, that's Did I say that? Where's yes? Oh, Ooh. dang. This is yes. Yes. That's no. That's no. Oh. <laughs> They're all. all. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're in. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I gave a fan an experience one time and the competition was for the disabled and I had an experience of a fan and he was completely blind. He'd only heard my voice on podcasts and I remember I asked him if he was an ass or titty guy. He said titty guy and I let him touch my boobs for so long. And I know, and I know that that moment mattered so much to him because a lot of people don't realize that disabled people are horny and also have the same needs as wants as everyone else. I like to just give someone a good time, man. Like, why the fuck not? I don't care if you're a fan or not. I mean, I feel like anyone that f**ks me now has probably seen my porn, so they probably are already a fan. So I, I feel like not. they try harder. I, I feel like my fans are cute, and I like to make men happy. It's like my purpose. I like to make them horny. I like boners. I like everything. 
Yeah, I don't think there's anything more flattering there than hooking up with someone who is obsessed, obsessed with you. <laughs> like anyone excited. that I would want to date, I would want my partner to be like adore me and be obsessed with me and be my biggest fan. So why wouldn't I be a fan? So what I try to establish with my fans is kind of- Yeah, that's, I mean, okay. I think another thing with it is like, are you going to, like, I don't, I don't know if these people are going to be mon monogamous or going to want to be in a long-term relationship, but would you want someone to kind of like always like want you in that regard? Like, I mean, like, yeah, you can like, you can have it, but like, you know, would it be too much though? You know what I mean? Like, I think, I think people would love a little step back and like, you know, Hey, don't, <laughs> you know, don't always, you know, be in my business. Right. You know, maybe give me some space. Right. So it's kind of it's, it's I guess it would be a fine underline of like where it can be at, but um, be the obsessiveness of fans probably I don't I don't know if that's like the best idea, but you know I mean honestly I don't really know, but I would I would think uh, I would I wouldn't think that would be the the ob the absolute best solution, but I mean if you want to give the fan a good time, I guess you know. More power to you. Like a relationship, I feel like a lot of them are dating me. Um, and picture me as their girlfriend. So obviously, you want to fuck your girlfriend. And then um, also, I do a lot of fan stuff because one of the best things you can do when you're building a business. So you want to build a niche clickable group so that way you have these inside jokes or you have these other people that are going to be like, I got to fuck Adriana Chechik. Okay. Oh, I haven't the fan yet. But I'm definitely open to it. I mean, I see the text that you guys send in, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The fans are, so. I think, the biggest dicks. Yeah. They do. Soon enough. Yeah. Soon enough, yeah. I'm sure. I'm like, why is it so big? You should be important. I, I, always have, I always have fans who have the best loads. Like, I've, I've done scenes where they've just come and drop loads on me, and, like, even porn directors who have filmed it have been like, why are they better than male talent? And I'm like, cause they're not jaded and they're excited to be here. Like what you have said, mm. like they're excited to be with you. They're excited for the experience. So. They don't take a bunch of shit to keep yeah, them Yeah, and it's just like so. one, two times, they're ready to go, you know? <laughs> I strongly agree and agree cause I f***ed a couple fans. One was a disabled like yours, he had autism. Oh. He, I thought I was gonna die though, honestly. <laughs> because of the autism? Yeah, he choked me out. And oh. I was like looking oh, outside dang. the window to like the neighbors. Jesus. Like, I just oh, met him. I was like, right I now. just met him. But yeah, this is Going it. to heaven. <laughs> Jesus. But yeah, I, I like to see my fans. Cause they know me, we talk, like it's personal. And they're kind of weird. Like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They like what you like because yeah. they watch you. We so talk it's even about better. video games, like video, like, they're cool. Um, I have f***ed a lot of my fans. <laughs> <laughs> but I just like to f*** fans because like you don't know them, like you're just chatting with them online and then all of a sudden just meeting them and then getting excited and sometimes they put out this trick like it's really good sex and some of them are really cute. They try hard. Yeah, I like yeah. they try hard. <laughs> and you can be demanding to them too because yeah. they're also like, oh my God, this is great. So like. You can be like, no, get down on the floor and fucking do this right now, like, you know? Yeah. <laughs> if they're into that. <laughs> Sometimes, like, guys, like, try to play it cool, and what they're like, the whatever, like, it doesn't matter if we fuck or not. And I'm always like, you're a loser, dude, because yeah. I have guys begging to fuck me, and I want a guy who, like, is on his knees. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, worship us, we deserve it. So my entire page, I do cater to, like, what is known as, like, a girlfriend <laughs> experience, kind of similar to Adriana. I like no. to get like, personal no. with my fans. I offer Don't do that, guys. Things, like, video game dates and e-dates and stuff like that. I haven't fucked a fan yet, but I really want to. There are some where I'm like, hey, you're actually really cute and I'm really <laughs> vibing with you and like, do you want to come over and anime and chill? Because I'm also like a very like nerdy girl at heart. And so a lot of the men that I meet, you know, they don't have a lot of confidence and they don't normally get a lot of female attention. And I just love making them feel as confident as they should feel about themselves. And I'm like, hey, like nerdy guys are my type. Like, <laughs> trust me, you have, a, you have a chance, bro. <laughs> Well, I pretty much started there you go, the guys. beginning of my career. You guys have chance, just got because I wasn't really shooting that much, it. and I was constantly online, so I had time to just hang out and be with my fans. And relationships are hard in this industry. Uh oh, yes. Yes. this is gonna wait, be interesting. No, this is, no, this, wait, this way. No. This is yes. See how hard it is. <sighs> for sure. Relationships have always been really easy for me. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> sharded. <laughs> 
If I'm dating someone, I give them enough respect to let them know everything there is about me, even my piss kink, because I want them to what? have the space to make that judgment the on what their kink? Own if they want to f with me or not. If I'm going to prolong these important conversations, even if it wasn't about sex and porn, I would basically be wasting my time and like heading towards the inevitable, inevitable, which is finding people that don't f with that. So I've always been really straight up like, hey, like this is what I'm about, this is what I'm into, and I own that. This is my life and it really fulfills me. I will never be monogamous. If there's one thing I like more than it's new every single day. So, you know, and if you're not into that, then we wouldn't date. I attract exactly what I am. So I feel like I date fellow sluts. So they kind of get the game. I've been in a long-term open relationship for years now. And even before I did porn, I'm just surrounded by my circle of people who agree with what I agree with. So I'm always going to be dating people who understand. So yeah, so she's willing to be in a relationship. Uh, so she's in an open relationship. Uh, it's not closed, it's open. And so she's gonna be sleeping with anyone she wants to and obviously the other guy as well, so. I mean, I would think those, so that's probably the best relationship, I guess, if you're in that position, I would assume. To Just to clear things up, what is your piss kink exactly? Uh oh. I love to get pissed on. You do? Yeah. See what you what, what else bathroom. could it be? Yeah. I don't know. I'm just asking for the idiots that are watching this. Like, what, what else could a piss kink be? Like, yeah. Like, you like drinking it? <laughs> no, I'm like a gargler. Some people like it oh. in them. Yeah. What? I've had pee in oh, my pussy. Yeah. So what? Nice. <laughs> it feels nice. Wow. It's warm. It yeah. is very warm. And then warm. they can <laughs> it out a little bit. It's nice. <laughs> it's happened to me. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like it kind of also like cleans it out. I don't know if anyone else oh. that way, but. I don't yeah. know if it cleans oh, it out. What? Oh my God! What the hell am I hearing? It feels evil in there. <laughs> my Christian ears. I agree. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The relationship is hard. What the this heck? is a true story. I was on Hinge at one point. Oh. On the what? Yes, I was posting okay. my profile, and this guy act like he doesn't know who I am and ask me out. So when we got to the bar, or whatever. Thank God it's a bar. It's not a restaurant. <laughs> so he started talking this. Oh, do you want to tell me anything? Oh, how about your online things? This person not really just wanted to date me. He wanted to like ask me out to see if I'm real or maybe like have a sex with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I find it incredibly hard to date to the point where I actually like can't get dates. So there's two perspectives on that. So if I were to go meet hmm. somebody, it's kind of hard because I don't like random people to know my real name. So obviously I'm meeting them as Adriana Chechik and that's extremely hard. It's intimidating. Um, I've had guys literally walk out on me when I've met them because they're so intimidated by me. And then also Damn. I've done some of the most extreme sex acts on camera that guys extreme? can't swallow or get past. I currently do kind of live like a little bit of a lonely life there's another aspect where guys only want to date me to like show show me off to other people or their friends they immediately treat me like the adrianic Adriana Chechik like experience, right? So like if I was gonna go meet a guy, like they would never hold my hand or anything. The first thing they do is they try and like have sex with me. So it's really like Damn. disheartening to be honest. And that's, I've kind of just rough. given up. I feel like sadly, I actually feel like I might not ever find like a boyfriend like that. I might just end up being alone forever. Yeah. yeah, so I think there are plenty of people who are immediately not an option for me because I also practice ethical non-monogamy. I have been in an open relationship for a few years now. He was with all me relationships I started to get into the sex work industry and there were a lot of battles there um a lot of men feel intimidated especially if you work with other men they're like oh i can't live up to you know the people that you're working with i don't know how to do this and there are a lot of intimacy problems that can occur yeah that's why i think it's hard but it's also not hard depending i think you just need a lot of communication i agree that it's really hard um once you get into a relationship your fans feel like they're not in the same relationship anymore so to be with someone like me, you're gonna have to understand that I can't be posting you. I can't be ex like showing you off how you are with me because my fans are not only gonna feel like entitled, but they're also gonna be disrespectful to you. They're gonna be sending you screenshots of my work and telling you very hateful things. And I feel like you have to be mentally prepared to date a sex worker or a performer because of what comes yeah. with it. And it's you true. know, coming home sometimes, or I don't wanna have sex, you're gonna have to be okay with not like wanting to have sex and it's just a lot that comes with it so i think it's really hard and being bisexual is 
a hit or miss too because the women outside the industry can't understand how you take the on film. Yes, and, that and happens be gay. to me. Like what? Like that happens to me. So I'm on a website for women because I wanted to like look for a girl, and they if like real lesbians don't want to interact with you if you've had a cock inside of you. Yeah, and it's extremely hard. And like it's a job. Yeah, it's a fun job, but it's a job. Yeah, I'm coming home to you, and I'm gonna take a shower before I get in bed with you. Like, yes, please. I love what I do right now. I love sex. I love everything about nah, she, the industry. She, she's in also, it. I'm 21. Oh yeah, so she's young. Right so right now, I'm not looking for anything she's super young. long term. Yeah, she Relationship don't care. wise, I'm very monogamous. So when I do get to that point, I think I will have wanted to leave the industry so that I can pursue that to the extent that I want to. If I was trying to find a monogamous relationship right now, it would be basically impossible with what I do for work. I'm on the same. Page. I I personally, I mean. I just think in general, I just think it'd be hard. I mean, so far from what I've heard, it seems hard. I mean, like, to be honest, you know, you, you are posting those stuff. You have fans that, again, like what um, one of the chicks said is that, you know, it's hard for her to, like, you know, take them out. Take take your significant other out, you know, be out with them in public and stuff like that. You know, it's just like, it's, it's, it's not a, it's not a, uh, like, I mean, like, I would think for I would think for the the guy maybe like you know that 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 wants to be in that position you know they're like they're craving about it. like hell yeah like I got this girl you know like that I've been watching you know what I mean but like in reality it's like you know like yeah they're probably gonna do more of this stuff with other people are you gonna be okay with that like that's it's, it's pretty tough right so it just takes a certain person that can handle all that stuff and you know there's not a lot of people out there that can i get into a relationship i probably will want it to be monogamous and i think it'll just work best if i'm more out of the scene once i want to get into one yeah, yeah. i would have getting yeah. into the yeah. scene right well i've done only fans for three years but i'm going to start working with more people now and doing porn so i'm uh, very well. excited Woo! Woo! Yep. It's, yeah. it's not gonna stop i always said that no one wanted to date me in the first place so i feel like only fans honestly made it a lot easier to find people who wanted to date me i feel like i'm my most authentic self with only fans i haven't been in a long-term relationship and this is like very specific to me again no one wanted to date me in the first place but like all of a sudden all these guys want to take me out or want to do things with me that just no one wanted to do before the thing's hard too it's like they want to Adriana Chachek, they don't want to f this yeah. person. I'm like, dude, we can't do this no, all the time. No, I don't want to swallow your dick all the time. Like, <laughs> yeah. can I just lay there and do the zombie? Can we be subtle? Like, like, yeah, no, poor start subtle me, <laughs> eat me out, and yeah. let me go to sleep. Yeah. That's actually going to lead to my next question, so let's get you guys in the middle. Do you guys think I'm cute? Oh. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I ran. <laughs> all right, guys, that's the end of the that's video. How do you guys up. feel? You <laughs> all right, well... I mean, again, uh, you know, link in link the description for the video if you guys want to go check it out as well. Um, obviously, support the uh, the creator as well in the video. Gathering all these chicks uh, and, you know, giving their perspective on all the questions that probably a lot of people are asking, right? Maybe getting in some ideas of, like, what is going to happen if you're going in this industry, right? Like, the, the drawbacks, right? The excitements, the the you know the the fame that you get out of it, uh, like some fame of it, you know, like you get the money out of it, right? So it's like, but like, yeah, you get there's certain consequences that comes with it. So I'd say, you know, I personally, if if I had a daughter that would come into that situation, I probably would tell her not to do it. Like that's that's just me me in general. But then again, it's like you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't completely shame her. I wouldn't shame her if she did it. You know, because again, it's like, you know, you're trying to make your own money, you're doing all that stuff. But it's again, it's like, you know, notifying or letting letting someone know is that like, you know, there's consequences with uh, certain things out there. And it feels like it's a weird thing to say consequences all the time. But maybe it's just like the perception of it, you know, the the perception of, of the reality, uh, how the public views it. Right. And um, and how the media portrays it. Again, it's like, you know. It's not, it's not everyone's cup of tea, right? And especially from what we've what we heard, what we've seen, what they explained so far. Again, it's you know you're put in the situation where uh, it's it's hard for these people to to find a stable relationship, to be into a you know healthy relationship. You know, it may actually be even harder. You know, they may get older and eventually just gonna have to settle down with someone that they may not you know have. It's some might not be the most ideal person, but they're okay with. What they do you know what i mean and it's just gonna be i don't know 
I, I, I would love to, I would love to catch up on, you know, to seeing what, you know, maybe the people that do this work, uh, down the road and, and seeing what they, uh, like, you know, what the answers and the questions that they've said here versus to when they're getting older, are they actually committed now? Are they, are, are they actually happy? You know, and all that stuff like that. So again, you see the, you see the good and you see the bad of, of, of it. So again, uh, it's your guys' you know, body, you guys, you guys do whatever you want, uh, at least when the aspect of it. But again, I just wanted to inform you that this is a lot of personal stuff that happens within the industry. So, but thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate the love and support you guys show me every single day. This was my honest thoughts and my opinion about, um, uh, about do all the only, uh, only fans girls think the same, uh, video, uh, pretty interesting video. Again, I, I, I really want to put this out just because again, I just really want to educate, uh, help educate, I guess I would say, uh, my perspective on how I see things or how I'm viewing it. Uh, and then obviously kind of getting their understanding on what their line of work, uh, entitles into it. So again, uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Thank you. I hope we can stay united as one rise up to every challenge, be ourselves and follow dreams because I know you can do it. I love you all.